everybody, this is the 2021 Acura TLX, all new for this model year, and Acura really does mean all new. This is on a completely new platform, exclusive to Acura, not shared with a Honda vehicle. This also has a new powertrain, more horsepower, and a completely redesigned interior, full of technology, puts quite a light show on at night. This is what Acura calls its best performing, best handling sedan ever. And guys, I have to say that I have had a fun time driving it this week. There are so many changes to this vehicle, and they've also brought back double wishbone suspension, so driving enthusiasts will really, really like that. And that is the point here. Acura is really trying to appeal to driving enthusiasts. They want to bring back emotion to the brand, something that's uh, come and gone over the years, and it's been gone of late, except for uh, the past couple of years. Acura has really been working on um, changing that back to a sportier design, um, sportier driving. Take the RDX, for example. So this is one of the latest versions of those efforts. So this vehicle has been redone from bumper to bumper and the platform is more rigid, it's stiffer. The wheelbase is longer, which means you've got a roomy cabin. It's also lower. It's also about 2.2 inches wider. I do wanna talk about weight. Engineers did not uh, go after trying to reduce a lot of weight from this. This is more about weight distribution. So for instance, they moved the battery to the back. They really wanted to make it, it's not 50-50, but it's closer than it was. So that's really what this vehicle and the uh, new platform is uh, all about. They just kind of wanted to, to redistribute weight in a way that was going to make this car ride and drive better. And uh, I really have enjoyed my weekend here. This has a new powertrain. They've ditched the naturally aspirated engine for a two liter turbocharged inline four. You're gonna get more horsepower. It has a 10 speed automatic transmission. You can hear the engine there. Um, really good acceleration off the line with the 272 horsepower. If you're interested in a little more power, you can wait for the Type S, which comes out next spring. And that is really the one that's going to get a V6 engine under the hood. I absolutely love the ride and drive in here. It's fun. It's engaging. You are planted to the road. The brakes in here are tremendous and they are derived from the NSX. So no wonder, but they're really sharp. They're, they're confident and, and one of the highlights of this car. Of course, the suspension, the double wishbone suspension is returning. So uh, driver enthusiasts will really be fans of that. This car just rides and drive great. I also want to talk about the uh, super handling all-wheel drive system. Acura does not get enough credit for this system in the industry. It's fantastic. The way it sends power to the rear wheels, the torque is at 280 in this vehicle. It really just all comes together. The really nice thing about super handling all-wheel drive in this generation is that it uh, sends 70% of power to the rear wheels. You get more torque. It also transfers the torque from the front to the rear faster than the older version. Definitely is a sporty and engaging ride. I feel planted to the ground. Sport mode can uh, does make it feel more responsive. You're not gonna do tight cornering in this vehicle, but it does feel really, really nice around these turns. You feel planted to the ground. The TLX looks sharp and it's platinum white pearl paint, which is a premium paint color. It also has a spec trim gloss black accents and 19 inch shark gray wheels. The long hood has two sharp creases on each side and a less definitive one straight down the middle. A black diamond pentagon grille sits up front and Acura does a terrific job with lighting. You have Acura's next gen LED jewel eye headlight design with the LED chicane DRL lights. A chicane is a curve on a racetrack. The A-Spec also sports LED fog lights, and in back you have LED tail lights and brake lights. You also have a gloss black rear spoiler along with an A-Spec black rear diffuser and dual exhaust. Acura also integrated the trunk button into the tail light area here, which I thought was pretty cool. And speaking of cargo space, I found it plenty roomy for my needs with a lot of depth back here.
This interior is impressive, guys. It is super driver centric. One thing I want to point out is how low the dash is. Um, it it uh, flows down slightly and it really gives you a great view of the road. And you really do feel low in here. Um, you have great visibility, but that dash is just a really uniquely styled uh, and with some great stitching, by the way, and soft touch materials, too. That's one thing that I would point out about the interior that really strikes you when you get in here. Obviously, these seats do as well. This is the uh, red leather with Alcantara suede inserts that you get with the A-Spec trim, one of the goodies that comes with that appearance package. They're very comfortable. Uh, there is a little body roll in them. They're not uh, so bolster that you're going to be like snug and can't move in here. Seat bottoms are flat and wide with slight bowstrings on the side. These are 12 way power adjustable for both the driver and the passenger and heated as well as ventilated in the A spec trim. The multi tone and colored interior is a combo of soft touch and some plastic, leather, and nice red stitching on the dash. The real aluminum trim in here also looks great. You're going to get some new things in here like a flat bottomed steering wheel. That's new for 2021. The gauge cluster has a cool animation when you start it up. It's flanked by analog dials on either side. Even though it's not fully digital, I still really like this a lot. The red backlight looks really, really good. You also get a boost gauge in the upper left and a G meter, which uh, is good for sport mode. The high definition 10.2 inch multimedia screen sits back on the dash. It is not a touch screen, it'd be too far to reach. You're also going to get Acura's touchpad interface. And what you need to know here is it is one to one positioning, which means you'll press the area on the pad that matches the area on the screen. And there are two areas one larger one and then the vertical one on the side. Somewhat of a learning curve, but you can get the hang of it pretty quickly. I also love the new palm rest they put in here. The command center also houses your dynamic mode switch, which is the same as the NSX. Drive modes are comfort, normal, sport, and individual. So it does have automatic stop start in here, but you can turn it off if that's something you have an issue with. Um, it is something that uh, isn't exactly seamless. You can also turn off auto stop start here on the center console and operate the auto brake hold. The console also houses your push button gear shift. I love the ELS Premium 3D Audio System, guys, 17 speakers, 710 watts. This system sounds incredible, one of my favorites uh, and definitely one of the highlights for me for this sedan. You do get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and a Wi-Fi hotspot is standard. You also get a standard sunroof in here. So since it rides on a longer wheelbase, uh, it's very roomy in here, especially in the front seat. You've got plenty of room on both sides here, plenty of headroom too um, throughout the vehicle. Uh, it's really, really a comfortable sedan. It rides comfortably. The quality materials extend to the back where you have comfy seats that sit at a slight recline. A rear center drop down armrest offers up to cup holders. There is a high hump in the middle floorboard of note. You do get AC vents back here, but there are no USB ports to be found. The TLX turns into a light show at night. Acura really stepped up its interior lighting game in here. It's equipped with the iconic drive ambient LED cabin lighting in here with 27 themes. You're going to get a ton of safety in here, part of Acura's uh, Acura watch system. Um, there are a number of features. This also has the tech package with the navigation with voice recognition and a couple of added safety features, blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert, along with the front and rear parking sensors. I also want to mention that the TLX is the first Acura vehicle with Honda's new front passenger airbag technology. Now, if you want a head up display, you'll need to step up to the advanced trim, which has some additional features. The A-Spec package does get you those 19 inch wheels on the exterior as well as the LED fog lights and in the interior you get the uh, leather trim sports seats with the suede inserts. Also they are ventilated. You get the wireless phone charger and the sport steering wheel along with a black headliner. In terms of fuel economy you're going to get 21 city 29 highway for 24 combined. The price on this is just over 47000 which I think is a great value for everything you're going to get in this vehicle. I think Acura has done a fantastic job. This is a great, compact, luxury sedan. If you want to test drive one of these for yourself, just head to our website, carprousa.com, and click on the Certified Dealer link.